Hey everyone, Morgan here. So we're going to be talking about page 7 of the thermochemistry outline for Honors Chem and introducing something called Hess's Law. And Hess's Law states that heats of reaction are additive. Heats of reaction are additive. And that's the additive property from mathematics. So let's see how that can be applied here. Let's imagine we have this reversible reaction. A forms an equilibrium with B, and that it has an enthalpy change of negative 10 kilojoules. And what that means is 10 kilojoules of heat is released when A turns into B. So what happened when B turns into A, the reverse reaction? Well, 10 kilojoules is absorbed. So when you reverse a reaction, you change the sign on the enthalpy. If going forward it's exothermic, going backwards it has to be endothermic. Now, what if 2A turns into 2B? We've doubled the amounts, which means we're going to double the heat, negative 20 kilojoules. What if 2B turns into 2A? That's the reverse reaction. That would be positive 20 kilojoules. If 3A is turning into 3B, delta H naught would be negative 30 kilojoules. So what we're doing is we're just multiplying this value by the new coefficients. It's a ratio. And for 3B to 3A, which is the reverse of it, it would be a positive 30 kilojoules. For 1 half A going to 1 half B, we're multiplying this number by 1 half, so that's negative 5 kilojoules. <coughs> okay. Now, that's what this is also. It's actually not the most confusing thing we're going to see this year. And I kind of picture of it as little puzzles and how we can put different equations together. So let's imagine I have two equations. N2O4 gas forms an equilibrium with 2NO2 gas. Delta H naught is 57.20 kilojoules. And 2NO gas and an O2 gas gives me 2NO2 gas, negative 114.14 kilojoules. So what if I want to find this reaction, it's delta H? I can actually manipulate these equations into it. When I see this first one, think, okay, that's cool. I've got the 2NO gas and the O2 gas on the reactant side where I want it. <coughs> it turns into the 2NO2 gas. Delta H naught is unaffected. Okay, no changes in sign, no changes in value, nothing like that. To get N2O4 onto the correct side. I'm going to have to reverse this first equation. When I reverse that first equation, <coughs> for gas, my new delta H naught equals a negative 57.20 kilojoules. So, since heats of reaction are additive, I'm going to add these together. And the 2NO2 gas is going to cancel out, just like in algebra. And I'm left with 2NO gas plus O2 gas gives me N2O4 gas. And the delta H naught for this is these two added together, negative 171.34 kilojoules. Okay? Nice and straightforward, I think. A good puzzle. You can look at another one that has a little bit more going on. <coughs> if you have one of these that's got more than two equations involved, I'll bet you that one of the equations is just there to be used to make things cancel. So when I look at all of this given, and I see I want H2 and Cl2 on the left side, I see H2 and Cl2 on the left side in this third equation. So I'm going to start with it. And 
gas plus 4 H2 gas plus a Cl2 gas gives me 2 NH4 Cl solid. States of matter are really important. Make sure to pay attention to them. And that equals negative 628.86 kilojoules. That one's unchanged. Now, I need HCl as a product. And the only place I see HCl in all of these equations is in this first equation. But it's on the wrong side. It's a reactant I want as a product. So I'm going to reverse that. I'm going to say NH4Cl solid gives me NH3 gas and HCl gas. And I'm going to multiply it all by 2 because I want two HCl. So my delta H naught, which was negative 176, is now positive 176 kilojoules. And I'm going to multiply that value by 2, because I multiplied by 2 over here. Now, what's that middle equation for? Well, it's to make this other stuff cancel. I need to cancel two NH3s. So I'll reverse this one, 2 NH3 gas. And that's going to give me N2 gas plus 3 H2 gas and a delta H naught that's going to equal, instead of the negative 92.22, it's a positive 92.22 kilojoules. And now kind of a fun part, I can cancel the two ammonium chlorides. I can cancel the two ammonias. I can cancel the N2s. Lots of stuff disappearing. Now on the right side, I have three H2s, but on the left side, I have four. All three of those go, and that leaves me with just one. So now I have H2 gas plus Cl2 gas to give me two HCl gas. And now I'm going to add all of these up, do it with my calculator. And to the nearest whole number, it's negative 184 kilojoules. And I'm going to do that based on a whole number because the 176 is a whole number. Okay, that's page 7. Thanks for tuning in. This is Morgan signing off.